Good morning friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today's video we are taking off this peel and stick tile because it is all coming up. Let me see if I can find a really bad area. Uh, right here. Like it's all peeling up. I honestly do not recommend peel and stick tiles. There's another spot that's really bad too over here. Like it's like literally coming right apart. Um, and we paid like a gross amount because I bought the more expensive peel and stick tiles thinking that it would be better and more worth it but it's literally not I honestly don't recommend peel and stick tiles because they're not very good unless easier ways to keep it. oh unless you like I, I did see some people use like gorilla glue and stuff underneath but I feel like if you were to use gorilla glue underneath this on drywall it's gonna ruin your walls if you ever want to change it or change it out or whatever so um, yeah I honestly don't really recommend these these are not tic tac tiles they're a different brand but again like I we paid like almost six hundred dollars for to just to do this little area of the kitchen and I honestly it wasn't worth it not I don't recommend it um, but anyway, so we're gonna finally take all this down. My husband has been itching to do it, so he probably wants me to stop talking now and yep. let's just get started. Okay, so now we have all the old peel and stick subway tiles off and it did make quite a bit of a mess, but that's okay because we're going to be using some drying compound and I, yeah. for I forgot to mention that what we were doing, what we we're going to do in replace of the peel and stick tiles. So I saw a few videos, I watched a few videos now, I think I watched Crispin Casper's and I forget who else, but they did faux brick with joint compound. And Kristen Casper did it in her old farmhouse and I absolutely loved it. So I think that that's what I'm going to do. And I saw a few Instagrammers do it as well. Uh, another YouTuber that did it was Jessica Giffen as well. So I've been watching a few videos to figure out how to do it. And I think that that's what we're going to go with is the faux brick. And I will show you what you need to do that. Okay, so you're going to need some, some type of drywall compound. My husband bought two. <laughs> I think we're just gonna need the this one I don't know we'll see as we get going but he bought two just in case and then we got um, went to four different stores <laughs> to find something smaller than 24 million I don't know if this is gonna focus I have masking tape it is 18 millimeter masking tape I don't know why it's not focusing but 
it's not but it is 18 millimeter masking tape we got quite a few rolls to have just because you never know how much you might need hubby picked up a sander as well and what i'm gonna have to do because there is such a mess behind the peel and stick tiles is i'm going to have to do a thin layer of drywall compound just to um make this a little bit more smooth um i know faux brick is not that smooth but i i do want to start out with a fairly smooth surface it doesn't have to be perfect but i do want a little bit of a smooth surface to start the process so i'm going to have to do a, a layer of um drywall compound and then have to sand that down to make it a little bit smooth so that's what i'm going to be doing here next but and then once i get to taping off my bricks i will show you how to do that as well To get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you so long. I met you in the Okay, so it is a couple days later and I just let the paint dry for a few days because it says to let your paint dry for a bit before you can put tape on top of it. So I think they recommended at least 24 hours. So that's what I've done because I did my last coat yesterday morning. So now it's 24 hours later and I did do three... <laughs> Excuse me. That's my husband in the background. But I did do three coats of white paint and I will fix the edges once I get the bricks on and everything's kind of done I will fix the edging but right now I have three coats of paint on and then I have my level tape and pencil so I can start taping out my brick size I think I'm going to do three by eight I think that's the same size that Jessica Giffen used when she did hers and I've been kind of just following her video so I think that's what I'm going to do and I'm gonna put a few on to see if I like the size or not and we can go from there. So that's kind of what I'm doing today is I'm going to start taping out my bricks.
You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I met you in the summer. Okay, you guys, so it is, I want to say two days later because I did this wall first and let it dry completely overnight. And then I started to tape off this wall and I made some mistakes. So when I started this side, I started taping on this side and did my measurements from this side. And then when I got all the way to this corner, they did not line up. So, and I don't even know if you guys can, you might be able to see it on camera, but you can see my pencil marks, how they're like off. So when I did it from the other side, that's where the things lined up. So if you can see over here, it wouldn't have lined up. So then I ended up taking all of that tape off, letting it just kind of like regroup for the night and just because i was just like so frustrated at that point because i had literally all of this taped and it didn't line up so obviously i was at that point i was getting frustrated so i just kind of like put it down for the night and then the next morning i retaped this and did the putty or the drywall compound or joint compound whatever you want to call it but 
and when I took off the tape I ended up starting from this end and lining up all my tape marks and then going from there just so that they would line up because I was not making that mistake again <laughs> but if you notice how they all line up on this side and then as you go and go and go down this side some of the squares get smaller and one gets wider and that's because um this counter seems to be either i think it's lower than the other counter is what i'm getting because that i don't know why it would be like that if it wasn't because i have the bottom one marked all the same so i think what happened is that this counter might be a little lower than the other side and that's why the markings are off but honestly I don't notice this much like I notice it but I think for anyone else coming into our home they're not going to notice it as much as my, like me and my husband would because we know it's there so but if you notice like if you start on that side they're all the same all the same all the same and then they just get a little bit smaller over here but it's okay we're gonna work with it we're gonna go with it because I I'm not taking this off again and doing it especially because this is all dry now so I did this yesterday I finished the side yesterday this one has been drying for two days but that's okay I just had to take a break and recoup regroup and then go back to this wall because if not I would have just kept getting frustrated so that's why it's been a couple days since I last filmed but now I'm going to do the first layer which is the brown layer and i just got nutmeg brown by apple barrel and i got mine from amazon because i don't think our walmart sells this brand i never saw it in there but they might but i haven't seen it so i just ordered mine from amazon and yeah so i'm going to do the brown first and then i'm going to once this dries i will start with the white wash over it Okay, so I just have this one square brick left and I just kind of want to show you what I've been doing so you guys can get the, an idea. And so I just lightly brush some paint on kind of all over and you really doesn't matter how this goes on because you're going to whitewash it anyways. So you're basically going to go o over the brick using the same technique with white paint once the brown paint dries so it really doesn't matter how this goes on and I have been getting some on the wall as well that I will just fix once I put the white on so that's kind of how I do it it's super simple and super easy so right now it's quite dark as you can tell but again I'm going to whitewash this and make it very muted brown so it won't be this dark once we are all done
Okay, good morning guys. It is the next day. I let this all dry overnight and it's looking so good. I'm so happy with it. I ended up cutting in on the sides with because I had some um, stuff I needed to cover on this side. So I got the gray paint out and did that, the edging this morning. So that's all finished and it's looking so good. So now all I got to do is wipe down the counters and I got to clean the kitchen because like this is the disaster I have right now in my kitchen. It's not really that bad actually, but, and then I have everything on my table for that was in the kitchen before. So I got to get everything put back to where it goes and I got to clean everything up and I'm so excited to finally have it all finished and it looks so good. Okay, so it's all done and clean. I do have some dishes in the sink that still need to be cleaned, but they're gonna stay there for now because I have a whole host to clean because my oldest son's birthday is tomorrow and we're having just a couple people over um, for that. And I'm just so excited. I'm so happy to have it all done and back and put together. And I just decorated the same way that I had it before I did the brick, but um, yeah, I'm just loving it so far. So I will show you. Okay, so there it is. Keep on driving 